Hello Internet and welcome to another video. I am Sarandalot and I have a tutorial for you today. I'm going to show you, hopefully quickly, how to make a radial audio visualizer. Now it's going to be pretty much the same principle as the linear one I made before, but we're going to make it go in a circle. So, this is the script that I used for uh, the last one that I made. I'm going to have a link to it in the description so you can start from basically where I am here. I have uh, this song uh, just put in here right now. If you want more information about how the script works or how, uh, how to write it yourself, if you learn better that way, I have another tutorial I will link on uh, going through it and writing it out line by line so that you can follow along with that if you want. If not, you can just start at this point. But if we just start at this point and we don't actually do anything, if I run the script now, hit run, you can see how the number's going. There we go, all the way up to 63. We get this. Which I mean isn't bad, but there are a few things that we're going to want to change. Firstly, these bars went up really high. We might want them to be uh, maybe like half the size of that. So, let me just go ahead and grab all of these, hit X, and delete them. Right, so we're back to our empty scene here. So if we don't want the bars to do that high, I'll just grab the Y scale set in here, and instead of 20, change it to 10. There we go. Another thing is that we're going to be rotating these all around so that uh, they form one big circle, and circles are made up of 360 degrees. Now, dividing 360 degrees by 64 bars, as we currently have right now, is a little bit annoying. So instead of 64, I'm going to switch that to 60. One other thing that we're going to want to do before we start uh, running the actual script is change the location at which the bars are put in. So instead of this, uh, this number here, which is uh, determined by the iteration of this for loop, I'm going to, instead of that, just make it 0, 0, 0. And in that case, every one of these bars are going to be spawned at the center point, 0, 0, 0. So now, making sure that our timeline cursor is lined up with the beginning of our song here, just to make sure that it uh, visually corresponds when we start the script, I will hit run, and then check our thin here. There we go, it's going, we have all the frequencies displayed and whatever, all the way to 59. So 0 to 59, 0 included, makes 60. So now, if we play this, looks a little bit strange because they're all in the same place. Well, this is where the somewhat annoying and tedious part comes in. I'm going to hit, uh, well, I'm going to move this over a little bit first. I'm going to hit N to show our uh, dimensions bar here. And the 3D cursor, I'm going to set it the Y value at minus 26. Then I'm going to go, so the 3D cursor is all the way down here now. Then I'm going to go down here and change the center of rotation to the 3D cursor. I'm going to hit go into top view so we're perfectly in top view. I'm in wireframe mode right now still. And I have all of my bars here selected. I'm going to drag out the window on the left hand side. So drag out the window on the left hand side and turn it into the outliner. So in the outliner here, we can quite clearly see all of our planes that we have. Now what we're going to do, we have them all selected right now, so we just want to unselect the first one. Alright, so all of them except the first plane is unselected. Then I'm going to hit R to rotate, and I'm going to hit 6, and hit enter. And then I'm going to unselect the second plane, hit R and 6. Then I'm going to unselect the third plane, R and 6. 
then I'm gonna unselect the fourth plane, R on six, and just keep going like that until you end up at the last one and you're all the way back again, full circle. So if I play this now, you can already start to see how it's gonna play out. I'm just gonna finish doing that uh, myself and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Ooh, all right, so there we have it. We have all of them laid out in a nice circle, and if we play it from the beginning, here's what it looks like. Not too bad, if I say so myself. So there you go, that's how to do a simple radial type audio visualizer. Now, if you want to change the actual height of some of these bars and whatever, then you'll have to me mess around with the actual math in the code, and that's completely up to you to, d to determine right here how these frequencies are going to be selected. If you want to do that wide band of frequencies, totally up to you to mess around with that and experiment. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will reply to them as best I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.